I have a question and I need answered. As you guys saw in last video, I found a company that makes an LED cargo light. Now the group's asking, is there a company out there that makes the cargo light into a third brake light kit? Are you a brighter cargo light or are you a third brake light enthusiast? Trucks are pretty much retired, but we do use them sometimes for work. So why not have a cargo light? What if you're in between? But then there are those type of guys that, uh, well, they have the trailer queens. Pardon me, what did you say? Who are you? Oh, it's one of those peasants. It's one of those peasants that drive their cars and put it to work and have it do things. Brake light for me. I'll be in my trailer. Okay, bye. All jokes aside, no matter what side you're on, uh, they have it now. Vintage LEDs, they have a kit, wiring and all, for running both a cargo light and a third brake light. You got your cargo light and you've got your third brake light. Comes with a kit and wiring. If you guys wanna know how to install a cargo light, we've already done it. I'll put the video up here somewhere. Or you guys can go to the YouTube channel, Order for Hunter World or Craiger Co. Classic. I'll be focusing on this right here. So how do we get the third brake light wire from the cargo light all the way down in my 19? 1967 to 1972 to your brake pedal to make sure that it works properly. That is our focus today. Enough talking, let's do this. Okay, so there is a little bit to do to wire up the third brake light. There is this little hole here. I have no idea what it's for. However, it's not a hole yet. And there we have it. Alrighty guys, what came in the baggie? It came with a long red wire, a short black wire, as well as all of these for installation. So you got ground, grommet if needed, that's pretty cool. And of course the insulation in regards to wiring the brake up as well. You guys see another videos, you know how the rest of it installed. And he even has this, so you can splice into the proper wire for brakes. It's pretty cool. All right, you see that? That is your cargo light housing. So as you can tell, it's hollow all the way through here, all the way down here, and then it exits. Kind of see. So basically, I think I'm gonna run it from the inside here, down here till I feel it fall, or hear it fall, and then leave it hanging there. And then I'll grab it when I change the cargo light. If it works. Sure, there's other ways of doing it, but what I did is I took a hanger, turned it into this, and I used this section right here. And just as an example, I wrapped it around like that. I think I'll do a wrap around. Wrap around. That right. And then I had some excess a little bit longer than that. And when I shoved it through and down, the excess hung down, and then I grabbed it, and then I was able to pull like that. So there you go. Wonder how much I tore up while doing that, but doesn't matter. We're good. What is going on? This is for a different video. What's going on guys? Have you hit that subscribe button or the follow button yet? Please do so as it tells the algorithm that you guys like our content and it makes it happy so that we can continue to promote parts as well as trucks and other classics to the world. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Subscribe, hit that follow button. All righty, now I just gotta run the wire underneath my carpet and step panel. I don't really have a kick panel, so I'm gonna keep running underneath the carpet on up to the brake switch off of the pedal. Now for me, I have moved my brake switch up to my brake master cylinder and used this old school diaphragm. I think this was like pre-1965 maybe. So yes, I think I'm gonna find the wire down there and connect it. Let's see if it works. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Check out VintageLEDs.com for any of those LEDs that you need for your vintage Fords. Head to Facebook. Make sure to follow their Facebook page because anything new that they have, they post there. So keep up to date. Smash that like button. Of course, follow and subscribe. And as always, guys, keep the still beauties on the road. See ya. Hip, hip, cheerio.